said it was a lane near the two giant dudes walking around the courtyard. Maybe it's like down here somewhere? No, that's the area that I need a password to go to. I might be crazy here. But I ain't seen anyone. Or I've been had. I've got no clue. Maybe this side somewhere? No? Huh. I've gone through this whole area again pretty much, so... Any of these guys? I didn't miss them, did I? Nah, they're just like, that's no place for ladies. That guy's like, I don't like ya. Maybe it's those guys and I just have to like come back to them later. Oh well, no biggie, no biggie. It's not like we wasted too many resources going for that. We got quite a few bullets off of it actually. And because of the runes I equipped last time, I am getting at least a little bit of health regen running around here doing all this kind of stuff. Well, at least now we can just go this way and focus on this kind of stuff that I wanted to do. Give me back all that health, thank you. Hmm? You okay? Yeah, we just dropped a thing and tried to find it. I will actually be right back, just a second. Alright, sorry about that. It's a quick little intermission. I wish I had like a cool intermission screen or something. Don't get scared by the bird, that's you. I wants to have a cane fight, and I'm all for that. Give me back all my health, please. Thank you.
So apparently these these scythe dudes also got powered up by me having too much insight. So they wouldn't have their like sides glowing and shit. That was too soon. That was better. safe use my canes I don't use my canes whip form very often because it is often kind of slow and unwieldy which you know you pay for with the range but I should be utilizing it better because it actually has quite like a, a long distance Kill this dude before he becomes an issue. I also enjoy kicking him off very often. Um, speaking of buffed up weapons, these stake guys also have buffed weapons now because my insight's a bit too high. Some of their moves are hard to parry, but generally they'll attack if you get close, so you can just walk up and shoot them. At least that's what I've found. Some more bullets. Good, good. Always good to stockpile. So apparently going this way will take us to a place called Henwick Channel Lane or something. Um, and I should go this way because my friend said... And I quote, it basically leads to a dead end, so it means you will never, like, you won't open up new areas, and if you can conquer this, it'll help out with levels and shit. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, all I remember is this place sucks. As you can see, there's a bunch of riflemen, and I made the mistake of um, traveling through here, going the left side first when I first ever did this place. Maybe it's not as bad as I remember. I'm sure these guys give me tons of bullets. Hell yeah. I might try farm this area. Bone marrow ash. Um, I might try farm this area later if I ever need bullets. But in my eyes, blood vials equals bullets. Oh, it's a knife dog. And you can't parry them. Ah. I remember the dogs being annoying in this area, but not like... Knife dogs. Well, that wasn't... Too bad, but that's only two of them. I'm sure you'll probably get grabbed by a lot of them if you try to run around here. Where 
Where the fuck's the dog? He's over here. You know what? I can choose you. Tons of bullets. Oh, it was that hunter that I was like, shit, there's something moving on the floor. Just hiding over there. There another one. Hey, someone's voice. At least I thought I heard someone's fucking voice. Definitely comes in fucking handy. Hello, chicken brick. We haven't done anything crazy yet. I just ran around looking for NPCs that I didn't find. And I didn't find them still. I don't remember what's past here. I just remember that specific area with a lot of snipers and dogs. And when I first went through, I definitely did it a lot dirtier than that. Hemwick Char- Oh, Charnel Lane. What the fuck's a Charnel? <laughs> I don't like the guy going, Ooh! He sounds like a very flamboyant waiter from like... A 2005 sitcom. Ew. Very well. I want to level up. I don't have enough to level up, so I'm going to use some items first. That, that should be enough. Welcome, what is it? You what do I desire? Well, well wouldn't me. you like to know? Um, do I want more skill? I mean, it's definitely a skill issue. That's the main reason I'm not beating Vicar Amelia. Can't you kill her? Farewell, I good think hunter. you can. I think she just respawns. May you find your worth this in is the like waking a dream. world. This is a dream, aka, like, not part of reality. Technically, I think. But I could talk to these dudes. Love these guys. And you can see I got 43 in stock of the blood vials and 112 bullets now. I was only on, like, 60 in stock. Um, so that's very helpful. Oh, wait. Here we go. Awaken above ground. Awaken above. Okay. So this is a different awakening location. I was like, I don't see Hem Hemwick Channel Lane. B R B R E M. You going through sleep? R E M sleep. Oh, uh, the Hongshmi. 
of our snow. Fear woman. I already fear women on a daily basis. Holy shit, there is just a bunch of women. I don't think they're nice. Seems to be two ways to go, a left way and a right way. This one's just a mighty, like, harvest spirit. Still have their cooking utensils, you know they're the real ones. Oh, you can't make that kind of joke. I don't how, I don't how what. I was gonna say I don't see how like being a cook is an insult in nowadays times. Like back then, I can definitely see you know, oh women should stay home and cook because that's all they're good for. They can't bring home the bacon. But nowadays, you know, I wish I could live a life where I could sit home all day and cook. This is an NPC. Do you hear the graveyard murmurs? Then it's almost time. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. To be king. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna headcanon that she's just watching Lion King in there. It's not operatable. Maybe I'll put down a message. How do I put down a message? Key items. Notebook. Jot down note. We must accept. I was gonna s see if there was a well. You must accept yourself. I'm sure someone will get use out of that note. And if nobody does, then I need that. Listen, in this economy, I will be a housewife, girlie. Yeah, I will be. I would a hundred... Oh, shit! I was reading chat. I would a hundred percent be... Wait. Beware of insight, therefore visceral attack is effective. I don't understand. Does a thing happen here if you have insight? Yo! Damn, how many of those things do you have? That's it. I'm getting me mallet. That's like my favorite cartoon network meme. Like, is something supposed to happen here if I have high enough insight? Did I miss it? Maybe if I use the inside item.
I had nothing. Can't remember that. I can't believe that. I don't remember. When the thing happened to me in Bloodborne, I kind of blocked Bloodborne out. It was very traumatic for me. Oh shit. It's the boy. Oh, 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 oh he almost fucking got me with his tag team over there. I'm, I'm fucking scared of my back though. Like, is something gonna spawn behind me? Hey, are you gonna come fight me? Thank you. Your son feeling hump? Oh, I was like, what the fuck does that mean? We're talking about Garrett. <laughs> Riddle me this. Your son feeling hump? Then take away the blanket, you must. So can we open this? Closed by a device. So no, this is a quick way back. Guarded by what seems to be that guy. Bread, no cum. If you have red cum, then you might need to see a doctor. You can't dark souls me by putting an enemy around a corner, except you totally can. Please. Oh, thank you, Debrick. Beware of ambush. From where? I'm not looking on to any enemies. I see these guys. Ow. I still don't know why the birds sound like dogs. Oh shit! I thought you were dead. Treat frame with care and despicable moon. I think the moon's that bad. Maybe they're like... You know how animals can mimic the cries of others? Oh, that probably goes down to the area we were before. Yeah. Alright, I'll we'll leave that down in case I die. crying women in the distance not my favorite sound but oh dude are we gonna fight on the bridge like star wars come on star wars me it's over anakin that was a little less cool than star wars gonna say Alright, every time that there's a fucking farm stable in Dark Souls or any of these kinds of games, they always put tons of enemies on the sides of them. Leaks of ambush, yeah. Are the horses gonna come alive? Just take it nice and slowly. Are 
they above me? Oh shit! You're never gonna get adopted like that, you little bog. I didn't even see that woman. Oh, it's dark. Hello? Is there anybody in here? And then the Scooby-Doo laugh goes off and I crap my pants. There's a monster there. I was scared he was gonna bait me into an enemy though. I should have chased him, but I was like, is it worth? Insight waste. Oh shit! Wait, how is there a dude in a wheelchair up a flight of st like up a ladder and then down some stairs? That guy's talented. Just making sure there's nothing else I miss. And also cross those like boardwalks. That guy's very skilled. What are all these like eyeballs and shit I get? Ah, using holy chalice ritual. This place is very similar to the uh, the undead settlement of Dark Souls. I hear someone about. Oh look, they're trying to Dark Souls me again. Wow. She just walked up and let me do it to her. Hello. Oh, why are there only women in this town though? That's what I want to know. Well, mostly women. I assume these big hulking masses are male because of the sounds they make, but that might not be the case. Hydrate. I don't actually have a drink with me. I currently drank all my drink and I forgot to refill it. Knife dog.
Life dog. I love how I have a thing that lets me heal just a bit of health at a time. That's actually very, very useful to me. So I'm just watching what my cat's doing right now because it looks like he's either up to mischief or he's about to be cute and cuddle my other cat. Oh shit. He decided for mischief. Ah, oh, so that's the gate from earlier. Time for Bolt. Look, silver bullet is effective, remember Lua. Oh, it's these guys, but there's two of them. Can I open this first? So in case I die, I can just, you know, come back here. It's a couple dogs as well, I don't really want to piss off. Well, they were much more scary and imposing than I thought they would be. As long as we don't, like, piss off the dogs as well. Gotta time my parries correctly. That was way too late. That was also way too late. Wait, let me just... Oh. If I can cheese an enemy, by God, call me Gouda. Because I will cheese the fuck out of them. Oh, nice dog. more. Holy shit, thank god I went the high road. Those were a lot of dogs. If I fought them all at once, I probably would have died. Are there still more? Oh, he's with a fire bomb lady. Didn't mean to jump there, but... Lake. What does Lake do? Physical damage reduction 3%.
Carol rune that is transcribes in human souls transcription of great ones in human voices ripple like a watery reflection this rune means lake and those who memorize it enjoy reduced physical damage great volumes of water serve as a bulk ward guarding sleep and an auger t of the eldritch truth overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours the air sees sentimentality and warmth of blood and acknowledges visceral attacks as one of the darker hunter techniques more blood echoes gained from visceral attacks perhaps the air is an un uh an hunter, I'm turning a bit British I am, an hunter who bears the echoing will of those before him. Hello Rose. Rose, it's okay, you don't have to put the sleeper emote every Bloodborne stream. <laughs> You're in the know, right? No? Am I supposed to be? I can't go that way. How else will I flame you? You better not. I grinded level from level 2 on Kingdom Hearts, by the way, to level 25. <laughs> so that'll be a fun after stream thing. I've been playing through Kingdom Hearts with uh, Rose, and it's been very fun. Jesus. To be fair, I went through three worlds at level 2, or level 1. It took so long to start grinding though, because of... Um... Ventus just doesn't do damage early on. He's got fucking nothing. Alright, I can't run up that. I thought I'd be running up that hill. I didn't mean to do a super attack, but here we are. Where did that axe guy go? Oh. Fight me. I will stand perfectly still. Oh, I missed the parry hit. Wow, he waited for me to heal, he did. Ow. Yo, can you let me heal first? That didn't parry. He was in wind up though. These guys are always hit and miss. I either suck against them or they're the best against me. Are you kidding me? Holy fuck. I need to learn how to dodge either left or right because I fucking sucked. I thought I'll make some space and then I'll heal in case he does one of his cleave attacks. Surely he won't do the overhead smash again after doing it the last four times. some extra bullets. Ouch.
God, I'm playing like dog shit. I went through this entire fucking area playing pretty decently. And now I'm fucking trash. What the fuck did I even get hit by on that downswing? Alright, more parries. Come on. Parries are more... What's the word I'm looking for? Parries utilize my fucking shots more, which I have more of than healing. Friend, can you come here? Please. Please, sir. I need to kill you to get my souls back. I didn't think I got the parry, so I instinctively moved back. I need to trust myself a bit more. There's a song about you should really love yourself or something. By Harry Styles. Is that Harry Styles? They break it down. Making that mistake twice, buddy. Oh, no way. He was mid air and I hit him with the fucking bullet. Can you not parry that fucking jump attack? Because I swear, both times I've hit him mid-air with it. God, he's drained my fucking blood vials a bit. But if I can just play better against the last one, I'll hopefully get most of them made up if they drop four. Before the ladies get here. Fuck 
What a waste. What a waste of health, just because I decided to start sucking. Didn't expect the fire bombs out of that one. I should probably utilize my own like Molotov cocktails and shit more. Well, this looks grand, huh? Is there someone in the fucking roof of this place? knowledge though. I do like knowledge. wasn't the witch. Where's the witch? Oh, I see. She teleports and spawns those things. But she goes invisible. Here. All right, I like this boss. I can only hurt her three times. Cause I like trying to find out where she is by sounds. is here somewhere. Ow, what the fuck? What the fuck? Are you... That's bullshit. Oh, that's annoying as fuck. Now I've got to do that entire thing again. Slow and steady wins the race. Wait for the lady and the dog to come down. Fight the lady and the dog and then we fight Mallet person and then we fight Firebomb. I feel like... Unlike, as I, I think I've commented on this before, but unlike Bloodborne, I feel like 
uh, sorry, I'm like Dark Souls, I feel like Bloodborne has such a, like, trek to get back to fucking bosses. I have to fight three of these guys to get back to the fucking boss. I guess I only have to fight two of them. I only really have to fight the one. This one. Come on. Poor Tweedledum also finds me. I thought he was leaving. That's what I want to fucking see. a game like that. Man, thank god I don't do PvP in this game. You could read my fucking actions like a book and then write an entire fucking memoir about it. Oh, it's called Nightmare Fog. Hey man. I'll get rid of you first. Hey, where's your dumbass master? So she took 389 damage. Does she take damage and continually take damage? Or is it like she takes four hits and that's it? I hear the granny upstairs somewhere. There's one. 372, that was four hits. I think she just transforms after the first hit.
fucking scared of that lantern now. Alright, she's up top. You know what? I'm just gonna leave you. You seem, seem a bit slow in the uptake. Oh, she made two of them? Almost dead. Wait, what the fuck? Oh my god, I pressed L1 while trying to fucking struggle out. Oh, that's so fucking frustrating. Holy shit. I beat one, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. I could just kill off the fucking ads and then... Oh. I can't fuck up and die on my way there either, otherwise I lose 42,000 fucking souls. Sorry, blood echoes, same fucking shit. Oh, uh, okay, don't get mad. Be glad I'm getting such a well-crafted experience, haha. <laughs> Smiley face. Thank god they punish you with, uh, permanent health loss in Dark Souls 2. I'm just going to ignore you. I get hit by. Alright, are you ready for Willy Wonka's fucking wrath? Daybreak is thoroughly asleep. Time. So did that one. So proud of me for defeating the boss the second go around as well. Did I remember to pick up my head blood echoes? Yeah, I did. She's in the bottom left corner.
I wonder if I can visceral her if I attack her from behind. She didn't take any fucking damage from it though. Like, was that just me or did she just not take damage? That hurts these fuckheads as well. Oh shit! What? Oh! The other one didn't take damage because its health bar didn't appear yet. So she did take damage from the visceral. I was about to be super mad that I got gypped out of the fucking... She gouging out my eyes. Wait, what the fuck? There's three witches?! She just hit the other witch with her fucking magic. All right, I might need to just clear some of these guys. There's three of these fucks. Did she kill the other one? Oh, I see you, bitch. Oh, that's the summoning thing. I must see for small reasons. I didn't think there'd be three of them. I didn't think there'd even be two of them, to be fair. Fuck's that huge noise. Special item, why it's ahead. We're gonna get any lore on them while there's three of them? Rune workshop tool. Oh, there was a hunter being punished here. Maybe the rune workshop tool has lore? Oh, 
Ah. Rune Smith Carroll, student of Bygenworth, transcribed the human, uh, inhuman utterings of the Great Ones into what are now called Carroll runes. Hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch Carroll runes into the mind and attack in their wondrous strength. Provost Willem would have been proud of Carol's runes, but they do not rely upon blood in any measure. Are we going to get any, like, lore to why this three old ladies in a shack? Shaquille O'Neal be damned. I hate that noise. Runes, you say? Yeah, air room. Got your rune crafting level up. I'm gonna cast some magic from it. So if I had to guess, it's maybe this thing over here. Memorize the cow rune to it. Get its strength. Nice. So damage reduction and more blood echoes from attacks and a shit ton of stuff to level up with wait where the fuck's the doll hi buddy most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men but if the old hunter tales remain true one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? Oh, hello. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it? You Let's have a talk. Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Very well. Oh, I didn't mean to Let wave, the but echoes apparently become I'm your strength. Let me. All right. Health, damage, endurance is pretty good, but just for sake, I'll put it in. Health, damage, health, damage. And we get 20 more physical defense from all those levels. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. Alright, I'm gonna try go through old Yarnum now. Now, I have been told that you can befriend the person that yelled at you um, for old Yarnum, but I didn't do that my first time I played the game. I just went up there and killed him. Uh, so I'm going to try to do that by not killing him and coming back to him later. I'll get my friend to tell me how. There's an entire rooftop area I could go that way, but I think I'll save that for later.
was a close little sneak up you had there, buddy. Yeah, the person up there on top of the clock tower, I think, will shoot us. You are a skilled hunter. Adept, merciless, half cut with blood, as the best hunters are. I don't know what these guys do in their hooded robes, but I'm fucking scared of them. Ah, they poison. Now, before I fuck up and do anything crazy, I'm going to just check real quick to make sure I don't fuck up. Just check through the messages. Oh, okay. So... Okay, yeah. So I need to get through this area, so that means he will get pissed off at me. Which is why I must stop you. Another fucking hunter here. I should think you still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream, give some thought. Fuck. <laughs> My first mistake was falling all the way down there. I didn't know there was another fucking hunter that's down there. Oh, he fucked me up. The areas in this area aren't quite hard, it's just him. Is he gonna shoot me from all the way there? No, I'm allowed to go up to here. Alright.
there another way around that I'm missing? I thought there was like an indoorsy area. In fact, I saw it when I was getting my ass beat. getting my ass beat. Oh, she slid right back. Ah, there's the hunt dog. I should go down this way to get him. Holy shit. Those urns are explosive. Oh shit, there's a big one. Jesus Christ. How do I get to that hunter again, besides jumping off that roof? On this way, buddy. Yep, 
weapon at risk. What? Oh. Do I have any other weapons? I do not. Fucking fight. I just did that until my fucking Sanoma came back. I don't know if there's a way to get into this house. I don't know if what I did was correct, but... Where the fuck am I? I probably shouldn't do this with my fucking weapon solo. Does it just break before I hunt? Like, zero, or do I have to get it down to zero? What am I looking for here? There's more coming. Fuck me. I need to parry these guys. Oh. 
I don't know what the smart play is. Go back to, like, heal my weapon. I guess I could just, like, focus on parrying. Oh my god, another one. Jesus Christ. There was just a fucking gemstone in there. This entire house is just filled with them. Rifle sphere. Oops. I don't have enough strength to wield it. Shit. Otherwise, I would be wielding it right now. Trick weapon crafted by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. A prototype weapon serving as a simple firearm and spear, possibly created with an imitation of lost Kanehurst weapon. Lacks any notable function, saving that it is the only trick weapon with an attached gun. <laughs> the red moon hangs low and beasts rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? Charred hunter garb. One well, of the staple articles of hunter attire and fashion at the workshop, a product of the scourge of the beasts that once plagued Old Yarnum, it culminated in the town's fire and cleansing. The cape dampness makes it highly resistant to fire. Wearers of this attire are hunted down victims of the scourge who survived the raging flames and stench of singed blood. Less thrust, less blood, a ton more fire, less bolt, more sl poison resists less frenzy how cool does it look though oh it looks really cool okay we're keeping that that gives more physical defense but less plus button and thrust So that's up the clock tower towards Jura, I think. And this is, uh... You know what? I think it's, uh, this is a good time to, uh, use the bolt hunter's mark. Oh, that's what we just got, the Chart Hunter's gum. Huh. Sorry, I was just reading the fire one, and apparently because of the f fire that struck Old Yarnum, that's why a lot of beasts have a fear of flame. Just because of the, uh, the cleansing fires. It's kind of cool. Wait, was that thing always up there? Oh, I can buy stuff with insight.
Oh. Hunter's cap worn by Henrik, the old hunter. The tactician turned old hunter Henrik was once partners with Father Gascoigne. And though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Henry's tragically long life. Henrik's... Wait, Gascoigne. Was that the guy we killed? Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be a great help of any hunter who has inherited the onus of the hunt. We got Gascoigne's cap. Similar hunter garb created at the workshop, only these are tainted with a pugnant beastly stench that eats away at Gascoigne. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. Ah. Cost a bit of insight. Is my weapon fixed now? No, it's not. How do I fix my weapon? Do I need to repair durability at the workshop or something? Repair weapon. Could fortify it. it. Would make the damage go up by about ten. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. We'll give it two fortifications. Where's wheelchair, man? See around here. <laughs> Can't tell where wheelchair dude is. Alright, let's um I don't think we have enough to level up twice, but let's use a couple of these just to get to eight thousand. Welcome. Very well. We need ten thousand and eight hundred. Why couldn't I use it? How much is that? 10,000. And I'll use one of these. Welcome. Very well. We're 90 fucking 4 off, alright. Well, we gotta get to 94 actually. You know what? We can sell some. Lead elixir. Why not? Welcome. Very well. That's not where we want to go. We're going to go through Old Yarnum, but this time we don't have to take the uh, scenic route, and we'll just go straight to where we need to be. Ha, huh, Henrik was a throwing knife kind of man. If I wonder if I wield the torch, I 
Well, that caused these guys to stay away from me. Because I don't really parry these guys very often. No, these guys don't care about torture. Oh wait, he is cowering a little. He's like, hiding his eyes. attack me. Oh, you know what? We can kind of speed run this part. And suddenly, back where we were. That door doesn't open from this side, apparently. The people up top that are gonna, like, jump down on me. Ah, the massive interior of a church. There's a lot of enemies down there. Oh, shit. Screams made me shit my pants. They made me shit mine a little too. as a visceral. Whatever. I'm gonna go this way first and clear some of the uh the mobs on the floor I think if I can. them coming. Ah. It feels so good being, you know, being able to do more than 10 damage <laughs> at a time. I see, you gotta drop down to get that item. Foul beast. I am Mr. Castlevania. Kind of odd that this game doesn't give you, like, I'm fairly sure in the first one you could buy, like, repair kits for your weapon. For, like, weapon durability, but your durability, I thought, restores that, like, every time you go to a bonfire. So it just feels kind of uh, strange.
So there's items up there, meaning we'll have to go up here eventually. How the fuck do we get all the way up here? Oh, well, I'm sure I'll find a way. This kind of looks like a place a boss battle would be as well. Oh, I thought there was an item here. No, there's just a fu Oh, wait, there is. I'm dumb and blind. She's so just chilling. Oh, this is a dude like crucified. They Jesus the shit out of him. Man, this area must be good for that like flame sprayer. Just walking forward, like burning all the beasts to a pulp. See, I think this is a boss arena, except I'm not seeing like player deaths. Ritual blood. Oh, used in Holy Chalice Ritual. God. Sometimes I think this game should count for Freaky Friday. So that's the thing, the top of the church. I don't know how to get the other stuff up the top, but I'm sure I can explore some other time. That's a lot of fucking birds. Very glad I upgraded my weapon to deal with those guys easier. Wait, there was nothing even at this fucking stat. Oh, wait, there was. Now that looks like a boss arena. And we look very close to it, but I don't think we can actually get to it from here. Wait, is this a dead end? Past the fucking dead end. Son of a bitch. Huh. Got souls somehow. <laughs> yeah, there's Jura. I'm not gonna fuck with Jura.
Ah, I see. That's how we get to the top of the cathedral parts. Remember physical attacks. Am I going to have to like cut down some of this shit? Oh, I could have burnt all the beasts in here. All right. Go poke jury, you'll be fine. <laughs> I don't want to kill him though. If I could befriend, befriend him, I want to do that because I didn't get to do that on my last playthrough. Well, I say playthrough. I played the game. I wouldn't call it through. Is that like a jump puzzle to get to that shit? Because if so, that's fucked. Does this look down? That looks down enough. That's kind of cool, the whole like room on fire down there. Well, I have to make this jump. Or did I have to go from the top? Well, I'll try and make the jump. Or I'll run into the pole. Oh, I made the jump. Wondrous footing and all for treasures. Yeah. Get a bloody messenger head bandage. Nice. Says, Beware of eye. Does that mean anything? Is it the floor just trolling me again? Who knows? Because I certainly don't. Right, instead of jumping off and taking a bunch of damage for no reason, uh, back to the bonfire. Alright, so we got to go down the roof path, but I think we'll save that for next time. So thank you all for watching Bloodborne. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you don't mind me being bad at the game. Uh, my name is Chicka Chow, better known on the internet as Chicka Chow. And as always, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye bye Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B